Yo, what is up everybody? Game Breaker got here. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Blade of Chaos tutorial. As I said last night, I was going to upload this video today. But before we head on, I'm just going to say hi to my Brazilian subscribers as well so they know what's going on. Um, Olá, bom dia. Uh, salve aí o Brasil e Portugal e a Espanha também. Um, estou a fazer um tutorial de Blade of Chaos para de lâmina de caos para o is English também, para perceberem o que está a acontecer. Mas olha, se vocês perderem este tutorial ontem uh, que eu fiz, vou pôr na descrição uh, aqui em baixo para vocês verem, se vocês perderam o vídeo, né? Para vocês verem o que é que estou a fazer. Ai, vou-vos apanhar mais logo, tá bom? Até logo. So, as I was saying guys, today's video is going to be basically only about the Blade of Chaos and all its potential and its combos and everything. So let's start with the basics and let's get cracking. Let's go. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna need to know, straight from the get-go, when you get the Blade of Chaos, um, for those that haven't completed the story of God of War yet, um, make sure you leave the video, you know, if you don't wanna get spoiled, but if you have completed the story, but yeah, the game doesn't really teach you much after you get the Blade of Chaos. When Kratos gets home, they just tell you to spam R1, R1, or R2, R2. You know, and just complete doing, just do these combos, the basic stuff. They don't really tell you that you can cancel the attacks by pressing R1. You know, you can just press R1 and then do L1 to block and cancel the attack straight away. And it's really fast and it's much faster than the, than the axe. And the benefits of this as well is when you're fighting Valkyries, when they hit your block, you can basically counter them straight after they hit your block. This is almost instantaneous, guys. As soon as they hit you on your block, you can literally hit them back straight. So they hit your block and you can hit them back straight away. And it's a really good counter and it keeps the flow of the combat going. And it's really good. So this trick is basically just R1, L1 and block. And it's just like this. And it's super simple, but the only problem with this it doesn't deal much damage and I can show you right now. And also I'll show you what, that, what I mean by that counter. Right here. They're gonna hit my block and then I'll show you. Wait, 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 wait. That was, <laughs> did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Just gonna block so they can hit it. But yeah, you guys get the picture? Like as soon as they hit me, I can literally hit them back straight away. See that? And it's almost instantaneous with a counter and it's really good it's really good to fight bosses that have super armor and if you want to keep the flow of the combat going then use that trick and you'll keep you going all right next trick or tip or however you guys want to call it is um when you're fighting in general with the blade of chaos you guys can do combos like this right and before the last hit hits if you dodge by doing the sidestep and you keep attacking your your last attack will still flow if you haven't dodged for too long and you haven't waited for too long so for example right here if i do this and then just do that i'll still do the ultimate and i mean the last hit right but if i do too long if i take too long to do it and then attack you won't it won't perform the last move real will it so you can do this at any point of the combos of the blade you can literally do this whenever you like as soon as you set sidestep like that for example you can still do that and um it's really beneficial if you want to try and keep um you know again again the flow of the combat going so it's really good to use it when you're trying to keep you know the the, the pressure on your bosses like like basically how i do it when i fight the valkyries i always keep pressure i always keep on going but the best way to use this technique is when you're using the specific skill right here that you're gonna have to unlock and um where is it? The stance changing is right here. Uh, this one. Chaotic Frenzy. So you keep on attacking forever. So the stance you're gonna have to unlock is right here. Chaotic Rampage and then Chaotic Frenzy and also Chaotic Flurry. So this stance, to activate it, all you gotta do is press R1 once and then you wait for a little bit and Kratos goes into those blades right there. They go into flames and then you just spam R1. And it lasts for a while but after a certain amount of hits, it stops. And then you're gonna have to activate it again. See, see that? So, but to keep this going, guys, all you're gonna have to do is sidestep. And you can keep on doing this forever. So that means if you can like fight a boss without getting hit and just dodging like this, 
You can keep this going forever, literally. Literally forever. And you can just keep on the pressure and you keep on smashing them. And literally, you can just keep going. So, again, you can keep this going, but if you dodge and wait for too long, you'll go back to this. And you don't want that because that attack is very slow compared to this one. Super slow, right? And this one is super fast and it's really good. All right, so since we're talking about the, the Chaotic Rampage um, stance, another thing another thing that I wanted to show you and I'll also like mention is that when you do Chaotic Flurry, which is this one right here, that, as you can see, that last hit detonates a bomb right there. Boom, see that last hit? So let me just show you what the bomb is. And it leaves a bomb behind uh, on the enemies. So with that last hit, you can actually cancel the last hit because um, it takes a while for you to attack after you, you perform that last move. As you can see, I couldn't attack until Kratos finishes his move, right? But I'm going to show you guys a way to actually co continue the combo after you do it by pressing down on your D-pad. And that will cancel the last move straight away, allowing you to keep on attacking. As you can see right now. Wait, two seconds. Let me just show you. As you can see right here, a great example of what happens when you don't block or when you don't get hit and you just keep on attacking. And it's just really dangerous. This move is really dangerous. But then again, Chaotic Flurry allows you to keep on attacking after you you press um, after you press down on your D-pad. So let me just explain how this works. So you can literally just activate Chaotic Rampage by pressing R1 and wait and then press Chaotic Flurry, on that last hit, all you gotta do is press down on your D-pad. And D-pad meaning the arrows. Um, after you press down, you press down, and then all you gotta do is either just look back, you know, look by pressing the right analog to the side, and just like look back towards the enemy. So let's just pretend this is our enemy. So what we're gonna do is stab him, look back, and then look towards, I mean, look back towards the enemy again. And you can do it again if you like, after... After this move right here, you can do it again, and do it again, wait, do it again, or just wait a little bit, just like that. You see that? And it's great, because it flows, the combat and the combos really, really flow. And I'll show you an example of the combo, really basic combo that you can do with this. Um, See that? See that? Like the way the, the combo flow together. Right here, again. You can do it again if you like. And smack him in the air. I'll just show you real quick. Um, you just put him in the ground actually. Just get it back again. Um, but yeah, but as I was saying guys, this allows you to keep the flow of the combat going for a while and it's really good against bosses and stuff like that. And it deals a lot of damage. When I say damage, oh, as you can see, like they're getting killed off fast, so fast. But um, yeah, another, tr another trip that I wanted to like teach you guys is after you press down on your D-pad or after you hold R1, it does that move, right? If you wait for like a split second, it goes into the stance straight away. Because if you if you continue attacking, then it's a bit slower to activate. But all you gotta do is literally hold it. Just like that. See that? The way it didn't even wait. You didn't even see the animation. See that? Again. As opposed to this. And then you can do it. You can just have to like time it right. If you do it too early, it does that. But if you time it right... Kratos goes into the into the stance straight away without even showing the animation stance like that. See that? Just before he steps forward. Right there. See that? Again, just before he steps forward, you can continue the chaotic rampage straight away. And the same goes with the uh, chaotic flurry as well. You gotta wait a little bit, literally just a little bit more and then boom, boom. Straight into the chaotic flurry and then go back to chaotic rampage. Just like that and it's super dope super super dope all right now um sorry i didn't even mean to go there um now i'm gonna talk to you guys about another hidden tech 
that not many people know about this but um you know the incineration move that Kratos has when you um, press and hold L2 and he, and you press um, R1 it calls him like that right and if you press and hold R1 I mean L1 and R1 I mean L2 and R1 it burns him right but another thing you can do is if you're surrounded like this if, if I'm surrounded like this and I don't want to get hit by all of them then you can hold this and point it to the ground and you can incinerate the ground making sure you burn every enemy surrounding you and this is really good even when you're like level one because basically when you're level one you can't really flinch your opponents can you because let me just show you a basic example of what i mean so when you're level one you can't flinch your opponents and that move can do it this move as you can see they are very strong right now Not, right now if i get hit i can basically die so as you can see right now i can't flinch them right but this move can put them in the air as you can see again see that shit but because the move is so powerful it puts them in the air puts them into a juggle state as well and it's really good to keep the combos going and stuff like that as well yo leave my son alone boy right there like that and you see that the incineration move is super good for when you're trying to do um like a level one run and you can't really flinch your opponents and your enemies because the draggers are so strong if you use the incineration towards the ground as opposed towards to them then um you will flinch them and they will go in the air and they will get damaged as well which is pretty good as well so i highly suggest you use this move when you're trying to do level one runs so it's basically really simple all you gotta do is press l2 hold it to the ground and point it to the ground and throw the the um the blades of chaos towards the ground and then hold it hold it r1 so l2 hold and then press r1 and hold and boom just like that super simple and then another trick i wanted to show you guys is to do with uh runic runic attacks so runic attacks here so the, the hyperion grapple this was actually one of my first moves that i figured out in the game is if you hold i um if you do hyperion grapple normally like this right it just pummels kratos towards them right um but if you do hyperion grapple in the air whilst the enemy is in the air it does a different effect so you slam it on the ground just like that as you can see see that and you can mix this by um pressing by pressing um the, the r1 version first so let me just show you what I mean by that R1 version first. So just like that, but it deals a lot of damage. So I'm just gonna try and combo into that. So the basically all you gotta do is make the enemy juggle first. So like by making them bounce first. Oh gosh, did not mean to do that. But oh well, might as well use it now. But um yeah, let me just put the enemy into a juggle straight. Oh man, these guys are annoying. Like this, oh, I missed again. All right, let's do it again. All right, let's do it again. See that? The combination that can do when you do it right like that, it's just beautiful. And then if you hold R1, if you hold R1 after those moves, it slows down the camera and it makes it like a slow motion matrix kind of effect and it just looks so freaking gorgeous bro like like look at this and then you hold r1 and look at that bro look at that see that move right there where you just pummels them towards the ground and then like slow motion it's beautiful guys this game is just a masterpiece but yeah um, now I'm going to tell you guys about another hidden um, launch mechanic in the game which um, which um, it's really simple to use and really simple to perform so all you gotta do guys is basically when you press R2 since you know the Blade of Chaos has heavies and lights as you can see heavies and lights and this is a heavy attack right here um, but you can mix these moves together right there see so also like when you press R2 into R1 it skips a few R1 moves as you can see if you do twice it will skip most of the R1 moves as you can see and um, if you do three times 
it won't allow you to do any more R R1 moves. So like into an R1 finisher. But if you do tw two times into R1 and then into R2, it does like the, the last move really like a lot faster and it's really good. Um, now the hidden the hidden trick I was gonna tell you is that if you delay it, if you delay the launcher, cause like the launcher we got, we got this one, right? And then you got this one. But if you delay it, so if you do two times and then delay it, the the hold by holding R2, so one and two, so and then you hold it just like that instead of like one two and then holding shit away, which does this. It as supposed to like that, and then if you hold it like that, just like giving it a little bit of time, just before Kratos does the the launcher, it does that move. And this move, if you have 250 runic attack, I mean um, runic power, it'll plant a bomb in the enemies i mean on the enemies and that's that deals a lot of damage and it's pretty dangerous and it's a really cool trick to use in combos as well um so let's see let's see what i can do with this don't touch me boy can't you see i'm trying to practice a combo over here this guy is annoying boy Ah, uh, he's already stunned. All right, here we go. Wow, how much damage does that deal? Wow, I can't even do it. <laughs> They're dying too fast. All right, I'm, I think I'm using the other combo instead of the the one I'm trying to do. Um, but the one I'm trying to do is actually the one like after you like uh, sweep their legs. Yeah, that one. So I'm gonna try and sweep the legs. Sweep the legs first. Like that. See that? And then into this. And look at that combo, bro. Look at that combo. Such a simple combo, but still freaking dope, right? Don't touch me, bro. Ah, I messed up. I messed up. I was gonna do. Like that. He's dead, boy. But yeah, as you can see, um, if you delay it, that's another that's a way to use it in a combo. Just like that. And to do that combo, guys, super simple. All you gotta do is Um, as you know, I've done a lot of tutorials in English before, and I'm gonna probably like link all of them down on the link down below so you guys can see them. And for those who have missed most of this stuff, but this is Agile Strike, and this is Frost return or frost strike by calling the axe and using agile strike at the same time. So the way this works is if you have the axe away from you, all you gotta do is agile strike, which is forward X R1, and then pressing triangle will call the axe, right? But if you press triangle and then pressing forward X R1 at the same time, like really fast, it calls the axe back and it also allows you to do Agile Strike. So this is uh, this is most of the things you see me doing in my combos right here. So like boom and then boom. And the axe can be on your back, but it just, make, it just means you're gonna have to do the council a lot faster. And it's really tricky. It's pretty tricky like that. And then this will then allow you to um actually forget that. You don't even have to do the Frost Strike. All you gotta do is Agile Strike and then pressing R1, right? And then um, pressing an holding R1. So I just strike, press and hold R1, and then press the down D-pad. And then what you're gonna need to know, guys, is when you press down the D-pad, you need to press the left arrow um, on the, the left arrow straight away. So press down, left arrow. But it has to be even faster than that, because then, as you can see, Kratos did not take a step. So he has to take a step. That step right there, that's the cancel. That's the animation cancel for, re for turning back like that. Because you don't want to turn back, wait, and then attack. What you want to do is turn back and keep attacking straight away, right? That's what you want to do. So, as soon as you press down on your D-pad, you're gonna press you're gonna press left arrow straight away. And then Kratos needs to do a step. So attack. So after Agile Strike and holding R1, attack. And it has to be timed as well, which is the problem as well. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit, like a split second right there. See that? I have to I had to wait like a little bit. Not do it straight away, but like wait a little bit and then do it. See that? And that's how you can like um, input that combo 
in there. So this combo right here. So let me just do it all together so you guys can see. This combo right there. And then into L2 and R1. Grab the enemies and then use the runic. Grab the enemies and then hold R1. And then you can like finalize it with a powerful, uh, I don't know, maybe a runic attack or a uh, talisman attack. Whichever one really you like, to be honest with you. But right here, I'm going to do the combo right now. I know you guys are going to come over here. And I, I saw that guy. I saw him trying to come at me. So I thought I'd finish him off before he attacked me. Boom, just like that. And look how cool that combo was. <laughs> My God. And yeah, that's an example of how you can use that combo right there, guys. All right, moving on, guys. Um, Wait, what have I taught you already? So I, I taught you about the, the stance switches. Um, Oh, okay, retreating slash. So retreating slash is one of the most important moves in this game. So retreating slash and this move right here. Both of these moves are super important. And... They will become even more important when I teach you guys. Actually, I think I already did teach you guys how you can um, dual wield and EX moves. So like moves like this, for example, like this. See that? I was able to do this move as well as calling my axe at the same time. So here is an example like that. See that? And normally I would actually be able to use my axe and my um my blade at the same time like that and you can do some new combos with this guys <laughs> which is crazy because it allows you to do some new stuff um but this will be made for another tutorial because this is this takes time and practice to like learn as well so let me just do it towards the legs actually uh it's supposed to grab him but he didn't grab him this time. I don't know why. But yeah, let me just do it towards, towards the legs. Right there. It does some really cool new moves when you do that. But um, yeah, I'm going to save that for another tutorial. But this is why you need to like master uh, retreating slash as well as forward slash. Or I don't know what this is called actually. Let me just make sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um... Where is it? Is it this one? Nah. 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 So, spinning chaos strike. Alright. So, spinning chaos strike and retreating slash are really important. So, like that. See that? They allow you to cancel the moves really fast. Alright. So, the, the thing with retreating slash is whenever you activate it, you can actually cancel it straight away. So, this allows you to avoid moves, in incoming or oncoming moves from bosses like that and then it allows you to, to dodge straight away like this and to dodge you're gonna have to punch right but you didn't see the animation that i did to, to dodge away see that i did three animations right there but you didn't see two of them which was the punch and then the dodge so right here that punch right there you didn't see it happen at all so like that see that i did the punch but you guys didn't see it but if i'm doing it really slow this is what i did but if you do it super fast, so then it allows you to move flawlessly and seamling, seamlessly. Oh my God, how'd you say that word? <laughs> seamlessly when you're fighting the bosses, which is pretty freaking dope. And this is why you guys are like, how the hell is this guy doing this? It's because most of my moves I cancel and I don't really allow the eye to see it and just make it look so flawless. Oh, that was a cool effect. God damn. I make it look really flawless so that it's really appealing to the eye. And it makes Kratos even more of a badass. So yeah, um, by doing this, guys, by canceling this move, by just pressing the left arrow, um, you cancel the retreating slash straight away. So you can cancel it at the very last minute like that, or you can cancel it straight away. So like this. And this will then allow you to like attack and dodge or do whatever the hell you like to be honest with you and another thing is you can cancel it and then dodge or you can cancel it and do something else but it's it's up to you to become really creative when you're doing combos in this game so i'll leave that up to you guys and this one is good to like you know keep pressure but it's also good 
to move because you can reach distances with this really fast as opposed to running as you can see i was able to reach it right here really fast like let me just do that again as opposed to running i'll tell you right now this is much faster traveling than running as well as it's literally like just under the same speed as i just tried canceling um but running takes a little longer than doing those as you can see kratos gets really slow for some reason it takes him a while to get there but when you're doing this move it, it won't take as much time as running as you can see it's a lot faster a lot faster running in general is just slow this is why i don't really run this is why i always do my agile strike canceling and to do this guys it's simple all you gotta do is press l2 hold forward press x and press r1 and when you press r1 you have to press x and r1 so like hold forward press x r1 wait hold forward press x r1 wait same thing here hold l2 oh also you're gonna have to hold l2 when you're doing agile strike canceling hold l2 press forward x r1 wait wait for this little um for this little bar in the middle to appear so you know like that little aim thing the little aim thing the little dot wait for it to appear just briefly and then do it again appear right there see that and the same here but this one we're gonna have to let go of l2 when you do it so you do the move let go of l2 and then when you the only time you're gonna press l2 is after you land after you touch the floor you press l2 press l2 press l2 press l2 press l2, press l2 like that see that and that cancels the animation weight because otherwise Kratos waits for a little bit and he waits for a little bit so yeah um as i was saying guys if you just hold l2 i mean uh with the agile strike version if you just hold l2 press forward x and r1 you do the agile strike cancel when you're barehanded but when you got the blade of chaos the fastest way to travel is if you press r1 forward i mean um forward x r1 hold hold l2 just briefly when he lands on the floor to cancel the animation and then repeat the same move forward x r1 with the blade of chaos and this allows you to move a lot faster which is pretty good um to use that moving combos though it's not that hard and it doesn't really like make a great impact in terms of like combos but it's, it's just really good to use when you're trying to style on enemies and stuff like that like this And the same goes with the retreating slash. So let me just do that again because the monsters were literally dead. Yo, goodbye, bro. Right here. Take the sword out. Oh, let me do that again. Actually, he's already dead. So let's just leave that guy alone. Um, I just like that just like that that's how you use it in a combo but um it's it's a bit it's a little bit tricky and not tricky at the same time but it's pretty cool once you get it down it's pretty cool so let me just explain how you can use it in a combo like that guys all right so what you're gonna need to do is again after i'll just strike pressing i'll just strike press r1 and hold so like you do i'll just strike hold up r1 and hold Press the left D-pad, and then what you're gonna need to do is, after you take out the Blade of Chaos, so Blade of Chaos is out, you're gonna need to turn, and then do Retreating Slash towards your back, towards the back side of Kratos. So, for example, let's pretend this is our enemy, right? And the enemy, I'm gonna, you know, sweep them, and then I'm gonna take my, uh, my Blade of Chaos out, sweep, Blade of Chaos out, turn back, Retreating slash towards the back as, as I just did and then you're gonna need to press the left d-pad again It's pretty hard to get it down, but at the same time once you get used to it Like that and then you turn around and it does this move. So let me just show you what it should look like against the enemies See that right there also, I think I'm calling Atreus after after right there as soon as i 
as soon as I um what do you call it? As soon as I think I sweep him, I think is as soon as I sweep them, I call a tray straight away to keep him in the air. Yeah, right there. As soon as I sweep them, and then that will keep the combo going. So let me just explain how it is. So you're gonna do. I'll just try to sweep, call a trace, take the blade out, retreating slash, return the camera to forward. So, step by step, how you do it? Forward X R1, hold. So forward X R1, hold. Take the blade of chaos, a trace, press down on a D-pad, and then press retreating slash towards the back, and then press the left D-pad to cancel the retreating slash, as I said before in the beginning. Cancel it out by returning the camera back to the front. So, retreating slash, camera back to the front and punch just like that and then you use a runic skill or anything like that that you want so yeah moving forward guys i think that's pretty much it when it comes to the blade of chaos i don't really use this move um the blade of chaos but uh actually no that's not it <laughs> i forgot one thing as i did <laughs> yesterday so another trick is you can actually pull enemies towards you with the blade of chaos by pressing l2 and r1 right but if you freeze them and then pull them towards you right here i don't know what just happened there i think atreus stopped them from being pulled but um freeze them and then you can pull them towards me and i can pull them towards me without without them breaking off the ice so right there just like that right here again let me just show you pull them and then you can sweep them straight away so again let me just do that you can pull them and then you sweep them just like that and another thing is, another tech, you're gonna need to use the Talisman of Vasir with this one, is, so let me just show you. Let me just do that again. Just do that again, actually. Retreating slash, pull them, like that. See that, the time keeps going, and they get pulled regardless. And it's beautiful, guys. It's just beautiful. Gonna get pulled, but they don't get hit with the, with the, the shield bash. As you can see, the, the shield bash didn't—I mean, the shield bash animation didn't happen. But that's because they were the, the slowdown. You know, the, the talisman of Vasir uh, activated, and the slow the slow mo animation animation happened. So I do retreating slash first, grab them, and then pull them. So right here, let me just show you again like, on this guy. Retreating slash. Oh god, it was too far. It was too far. God damn. Right there, but actually, let me do it more fluidly. I don't know what the hell is going on. The enemies again <laughs> smashed. Yep, let me just do that again. As you can see right there, if you don't do it with the Talisman of Vassar Time Realm skipping thing, or whatever you want to call it, to be honest. Right there, like that. So much better. Boom. Like that, baby. And this would make the effects of the combos even better. Even more, like, satisfying to pull. Oh, he was on the ground. I did. But yeah, as you can see right there, the same effect happens if you freeze them, though. So, by freezing them right there, let me show you. Freeze them first, and then, like, pull them towards you. Then you can launch them or, like, do another combo. It's up to you what you want to do to them after that. You're just gonna have to improvise and like, I don't know. Um, right there, look at that. Look at that beautifulness. Look at that beautifulness. Ah, I messed up, I messed up, so I'm just gonna stop right there. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, that's another tech you guys could use in your combos. Oh, and also, if you freeze them, and then you pull them towards the enemies. So if there's an enemy um, in front of the people or the, I mean, actually in front of the dragger that you're pulling, um, they all get frozen. So let me just show you. Let me just show you a great example of that. Oh, see that? Everybody gets frozen. <laughs> Everybody gets frozen and it's super dope. It's super dope, guys. And as well, right there, boom, right there. See that? And it's pretty cool. If the enemies, if there are any enemies in front of you, when you pull enemies like that, when they're frozen, they all get frozen. And it's pretty dope. So yeah, I think this covers everything for the Blade of Chaos. In the next episode, we're gonna be taking a look at 
maybe runic cancels with uh retreating slash as i was saying dual wielding combos are actually pretty insane so this type of combos right here i'm gonna do right now right there like that and those type of combos are gonna be taught like maybe next week or something when i get some time to play again but it just gets really like tough to pull out when you don't understand how, what's happening but i'm gonna be teaching that not nah, maybe not next week maybe in a few days or maybe like tomorrow or something i don't know whenever i get time again to record i'm gonna be doing this combo straight away so um i'm gonna be showing you guys the tutorial for this straight away for the dual wielding combos and like how you can actually manage them and how you can keep it going because when you hit the enemies you can actually keep the dual wield without like interrupting their combos so like let me just show you um right there ah uh, man sometimes if you hit the head the head of the enemies oh maybe not don't hit me don't hit me right there see that i still have my my dual wielding Now it's gone, but that's because I missed it. I mean, um, I, I hit their head, so I'm not I'm not supposed to hit their head like that. But um, yeah. So next week's uh, actually next episode for the combo tutorials for God of War is gonna be more based on dual wielding um combos and like you know attacks and stuff like that. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Also, as I said yesterday to my Brazilian subs, um, I was saying like I'm so sorry that I've been away for a few few days and stuff but i've been moving out and i promise you guys i've just been sorting out my stream room and my gaming room to really take this content to the next level i'm gonna be streaming without any lag like we used to experience before none of that stuff it's gonna be super good quality and everything's gonna look crisp as hell also i got my elgato and key lighting coming up like when i say elgato i mean like the key light and green screen they're all coming and i'm gonna be able to stream more games rather than like you know missing i mean i'm posting videos and stuff i'm gonna become more of a streamer i guess because then i kind of like streaming games more than actually like making videos it takes less time as well less editing and actually shows you how i play in real time so yeah guys thank you so much man thank you so much for watching my videos also don't forget to like some subscribe if you enjoy the content if you want to see more and um yeah i'll catch you guys in my next video take care man i love y'all